In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate muscle energy for the pelvis, specifically for pubic compression dysfunctions and pubic gapping dysfunctions. We're going to start with our patient in a supine position, and we're going to stand on either side of the table. We'll have our patient move a little bit closer to us. Come on to the left side of the table here. Great. And we'll also position our patient with their hips and knees slightly flexed. Great. So now starting with pubic compression dysfunctions, we're going to be utilizing the adductors to try to pull apart both sides of the pubic symphysis. How are we going to do that? We're going to bring the knees slightly apart and put one fist in between each of the knees to support. And then we'll have our patient bring their knees together. Go ahead and bring your knees together. That's going to contract the adductors and the proximal end of the adductors is going to try to pull the pubic symphysis apart. Now after three to five seconds, we'll have our patient relax. And then we're going to move to the next position, slightly more abducted. And then we're going to insert another hand in between the knees and then go ahead and push again. And then relax. And then we'll pause and move to the next position, which will be most of our forearm with a little bit of support from our other hand. Go ahead and bring your knees together. And relax. And then we'll move to our next position with our entire forearm in between. Go ahead and bring your knees together. And as we're moving from position to position, we're encouraging that pubic symphysis to decompress itself. And then relax. And then for our last position, we'll move with uh, the knees uh, much more further apart and either our full forearm and hand or full forearm with a fully closed fist in between. So go ahead and push together. And relax. Great. And then we'll bring our patient back to a neutral position and reassess for somatic dysfunction. If we were treating for a gapped dysfunction where the pubic tubercles are apart and we're trying to bring them back together, we're instead going to use the abductors, which attach proximally to the lateral uh, posterior aspect of the ilium. By contracting those muscles, we're going to encourage some internal rotation of the ilium, which is going to bring the pubic symphysis together. So we're going to start by bringing the knees apart. We can position our hands on the outside of one of the knees, and then we can use our abdomen on the other side to provide a nice stable support. And we're going to have our patient bring the knees apart. Go ahead, push. And after three to five seconds, we will have our patient relax. Go ahead and relax. We'll pause and we'll move to a new position a few inches closer. And go ahead and bring your knees apart again. And again, as she's doing that, she's contracting her abductors, uh, which are encouraging the uh, innominates to internally rotate and bring the pubic symphysis together. Go ahead and relax. And then we're going to bring our knees a bit closer and then push apart again. And then relax and pause to the next position and then push again. And relax. And then for our final position, we're going to bring the knees completely together and position our abdomen on one side and our hands kind of bracing on the other side. And then we're going to ask our patient to bring their knees apart. Go ahead. And relax. Excellent. And then we'll bring our patient back to a neutral position and then reassess for somatic dysfunction.